I am being displaced. I am a native and Bostonian. Um, I am in my 30s. I grew up right in the center of Boston, dead smack Roxbury. I'm in Dorchester now, Cobden Square area, uh, my family home. I'll be homeless in less than 24 hours. They took foreclosure in 2012. Um, I, I don't know how I'm going to get through the next second to second. I've been having panic attacks. I haven't slept in the last three weeks. The, Fannie Mae is playing hardball. And I, if this just law eviction was in place, I, I, I would be able to have some time to actually move, um, to find out if negotiations would be through. I, I wouldn't be on the verge of a nervous breakdown. The home where I lived up live now um, until tomorrow was a place of love, was a place of refuge. When we fight, we, we win. win! When we fight, we, we win! win. This is my home. This is my community. Tomorrow, I may have to move out of my home, what I call home. I'm really scared. I'm under a lot of fear. I don't know what to do. But I have to stay in Chinatown. And I'm asking everyone here and beyond to support me to stay in my home, to stay in my community. Yeah,你知不知道,我們開始的 我们的老师也有一天 South Boston now can only be, for other parts of Boston, a cautionary tale because I have heard and I believe that the, the last 15 years has seen an influx of 70% of our population. So that leaves 30% long-time residents. Um, this is a sadness I have. My nieces and nephews who grew up here cannot live here because they could not afford to buy and they did not want to rent. Uh, they couldn't afford to rent either if they wanted to raise a family. I've heard the, the, the statement that um, we, we, housing is des we're, we're in desperate need for housing. That translates into we're in desperate need for luxury housing because that all, that's all that seems to be going up, high-end housing. You don't hear it in the news unless it's a major, major development downtown. But much of the neighborhood um, changes occur very quietly, it seems to me, based on landlords and their resources and how much clout they have in City Hall and 1010 Mass Ave. It, everybody should have a roof over their head, food in their stomachs, and, and warmth in the winter, yep. and be able to survive. I mean, come on. Rents have been going up a lot in the past couple of years, about 20 to 30 percent in the last two years. And they're also building over 900 units of luxury apartments in East Boston along the waterfront. The developers are expecting $3,000 rents. And that's just going to increase the rate that the rents go up for everyone. Only 8% of people that currently live in East Boston would be able to afford the kinds of rents that they're asking for in these luxury ap apartments. What will happen is that we'll see basically a lot of young white professionals moving in 
and then the immigrants that live in East Boston will be pushed out. Stop the eviction! Stop!